making. Have you ever had something happen in your life that was so insanely bizarre that you don't tell anybody because nobody would believe you? Everyone, I think everyone's had at least one, right? Everyone's got at least one, right? I have a few. I have a few. Like, uh, one day, uh, David Byrne accidentally stalked I ran into David Byrne three times, so the running joke is that David Byrne stalked me for a day, right? And don't tell a lot of people that, because like, that's not real, but I assure you that happened. <laughs> this absolutely happened. This is the first time I have ever told anybody but my wife this story. And once again, I assure you that this happened. And as it is October, I'm going to start it off correctly. It was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> a friend of mine, an ex-friend of mine, who was then a friend of mine, picked me up from the Nashville airport to drive me back to Huntsville, Alabama. I don't know how many of you are used to that part of the world, but we went down I-65 and it was raining pretty hard. And then we turned onto Highway 53 and that's a whole lot of nothing until you get to Huntsville. There's a whole lot of nothing. But it's fine, he's a good driver. I'm a good passenger. I'm DJ. We bond over the fact we're like, hey, you know what I haven't listened to in forever? Let's listen to the Blue Album by Weezer. Solid fucking album. Really good album, okay? We're listening to it, we're jamming it, and it is important to note that we are listening to this album, and it is an iconic album. Most of you who know that album know the track listing of that album. You know the order of that album because it's one of those albums. We're going down Highway 53, and it's me and him and his son, and son the baby in the baby seat. And we're driving, and it is the middle of the night. It is storming really hard. And we're having a conversation, and then something unexplainable happens that I'm going to attempt to paint for you at this moment. For some reason, the conversation ceased. Like, it, it, there wasn't a reason for it to cease. It was just like we were having a conversation and then suddenly we weren't having a conversation. And again, we were listening to the Weezer album and we were jamming hard to the song Holiday, which fucking slaps. It's a real good song. But suddenly then I noticed, I'm like, when did Buddy Holly come on? That's way earlier in the album. Way earlier in the album. That doesn't make sense. Is this on shuffle? It's not on shuffle. And then I look at the time, and the time is three hours later. Three hours. The clock just changed. Three hours. And then we suddenly, it's storming really bad, and I was like, what just happened? And he acknowledged it too. He was like, I don't know. And I was like, Something really weird and unexplainable just happened, right? Like, we didn't just stop talking. Like, a bunch of things are just not right right now, right? And he's like, yeah. And then we have the moment. And we just look at each other. And we're like, were we just abducted by aliens? <laughs> Again, I don't tell a lot of people this story. Because if you tell people that you are entertaining the fact that there is a slight possibility even the smallest, that you are entertaining the idea that you may or may not have been abducted by aliens, people look at you like a crazy person. I challenge you, give me another explanation to what happened. We weren't, oh, this is important. We weren't on the same road. We didn't take a wrong turn. We were like four miles that way on another road heading the, head in the same direction. And I like to think that we were abducted by aliens. And the aliens just like weren't really paying attention. They're like, ah, no. all the songs on this album sound the same. They won't notice. <laughs> and they're like, ah, he was heading that way. Which of the roads? Fuck, fuck, fuck. And it was like the red wire, green wire situation. They're like, I don't know what to do. Just fucking pick a road. Okay, put him on that one. It's unexplainable. 
I, I, I mean, this happened, I just got out of the army. So this happened in 07. I haven't been friends, now, and I, I haven't told anybody about this. I haven't been friends with this person. We had a falling out a few years ago. Shit happens, but we're civil. But I don't really talk to this person. And it's uncomfortable when we're around each other. About a year ago, I, I was at a funeral for a mutual friend, and they were there. And we avoided each other the way you awkwardly do. And then there's a part where I'm, I go outside to have a cigarette, and then the door opens and he walks out, and he lights a cigarette, and we just break the tension. Have you ever told anybody? <laughs> Fucking no. I told, well, I told my wife one time and she thought I was clowning. I was like, that's so fucking weird. Yeah, let's never talk about that again. He's like, oh, make me a promise. But hey, fuck that guy. I'm telling you all now and he'll never know about it. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna get on the stage here, but really quick, give it up for Corin. Put all this together and put some hell out of it. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with me, uh, I, 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 I host and produce a, a slew of, uh, of comedy shows that vary in success called Clockwork Comedy. Uh, we used to have a show here. It would have been tomorrow. We no longer have a show here. Please come to the remaining shows that are left in other places. Please. If you're going, oh man, I meant to check that out. Well, you fucking didn't. And now it's fucking gone. Come on, Megan, do better. But you can redeem yourself right now, next Wednesday, at Startup Studios. There is an open mic hosted by Caroline Exxon. Give it up for Caroline. If you haven't been to Startup Studios, that place is bananas awesome. Go to that open mic. If you've ever thought about telling jokes, Come sign up, 8 o'clock next Wednesday. If you don't want to tell jokes, that's fine. Just come and hang out. Anyway, that's my time. I love you all. Good night.